Amazon.com founder and CEO Jeff Bezos revealed in a 60 Minutes interview last night that the world's biggest online retailer is now working on a drone delivery service that he says could be up and running in five years. Eamon Javers joins us now from Washington with more on this Jetsons-like idea and the hurdles it faces. Eamon, I, inevitably, I must say, could this plan ever really get off the ground? <laughs> I see what you did there, Tyler. Uh, look, these things are not going to fly an inch if the Federal Aviation Administration doesn't say they can do it. And right now, there's just not the regulatory infrastructure in place to allow a swarm of drones flying over residential and commercial areas of the United States. It just isn't possible. But Congress has told the FAA to get ready for that and to have those regulations in place by 2015. A lot of the experts say the FAA is not likely to hit that deadline. It's going to take some time to work this out among all of the different things the FAA has to think about here are how these drones flying over all of these areas in the, in the United States would interact with commercial aviation and regular old piloted aircrafts of the old-fashioned kind. Will they be able to speak to each other? Will the drones get in the way? How would they set up areas where the drones can't fly near airports and the like? All those rules still have yet to be written down. Oh, uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of issues and also just how do people, you know, on the streets and stuff uh, interact with these robots in the air. But is, is Jeff Bezos of Amazon the first to come up with this idea, or is anyone else uh, doing anything like this or proposing something like this? Well, he is the one who's doing it with the biggest wow factor right now in the commercial space. But interestingly enough, the U.S. Marines are doing something very similar in Afghanistan. They're flying robotic helicopters to deliver supplies to Marines on the front lines right now. And they've had some success with those robotic helicopters flying independently without pilots, delivering the equipment. They've had some crashes, though. And the data that they've been able to come up with on how that works and the expertise they've come up with in the Marine Corps might be something that Amazon might want to take a look at here. It's a fascinating idea. Lots of issues to solve here. Like my, my copy of Fifty Shades of Grey just got taken out by a 747. <laughs> I mean, but uh, we'll, we'll keep following it, Eamon. Could be a problem. All Could right. be a problem. Thanks a lot. You bet.